Hello all, this is James Shaughnessy for Ethan Carr. Ethan, the number one thing for you to do better is to coil your shoulders so that you have power to do some other tougher things that have to happen. But the first thing in my opinion is to get the power and then you'll be more willing to do the other things that need to get fixed. So you got to show me your back by a lot more. So right here we see Federer's back. We don't see your back. We go over here to better angle. We see Djokovic's back. We see Djokovic's elbow. We see Federer's elbow. We see your elbow over here. It needs to go back here. That would be 115 degrees if we looked at you from the top, which maybe we will. Let's try it. All right, so here's Fed's elbow. Here's Djokovic, here's you over this way. So 115 degrees this way. So get it behind you. Look at these guys. They're immediately putting it back there. You're putting it over here for some reason. All right, got to get better at that. So we're going to do that. All right, that's the first thing. That's these right here. These are your increase your forward velocity. You're going to try to increase it 10 miles an hour. All right. Then um, up here in the upward velocity category, you need to increase how fast you're extending your left knee. So right here, it's kind of just staying down. Djokovic is sitting down, but then he's pushing up into the ball. It's hard to see. He's only doing a little bit. Fed is staying down on this shot. But still, you're going to help yourself by uh, pushing up with your left knee more. All right, um, the big deal is to increase the, the roll of the racket. And you do that by rolling your upper arm and your forearm. You're not really doing that. You're just, you're just lifting it. You do a great job of lifting it, but you don't really roll it forward. Now Federer, he can do it easily. If you watch, oopsie. If you watch this little bone here on his elbow, this bone's called the medial epicondyle. See how he does that? It's down, now it's up, and now it's down. He does that about 915 degrees faster than you. Over here, this hello, that's Djokovic. Djokovic doing the same thing. This little bone here is called the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Turn it over. Okay. That's got to go get turned over hard. All right, well, let's look at yours. See, it's not, it's right here. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Turn it over, man. Now, you'll get way more spin. If you get way more spin, your ball's going to slow down. If your ball slows down, you got to hit it harder. If you want to hit it harder, you got to coil more. All right? And you also got to put your elbow back. And then you'll be hitting with more spin. And you'll be hitting the ball harder. The next thing is you will not get any spin whatsoever unless you get under the ball farther. You're not getting under it very much. These guys are getting 16 inches more than you, at least. Okay, so they're way under it. All right. Now the last thing is is you got to remove the reverse dipsy do, and you you've done all this stuff. This is just a reminder to look out for this. You don't go straight down, then back, then up, then down. So that's a a down, up, down. That, that That's high, low, high, low. That's an extra move. These guys don't do that. It's a waste of time. It, it, you lose all the benefit of taking your racket back high when you do that. All right. You've already mastered most of this stuff at Tucker Tennis Academy. Or I should say you were able to do it for a 45 minutes to an hour. Hopefully you're still doing it. Good luck at districts. This is uh, James Shaughnessy signing off.